what is up my babies i am back with a video and today i'm going to try to make it as fast as possible but i'm here to elaborate on some of the weird um phenomenons that has been that i have been researching and that i have came across i wanted to share it with you guys today and i'm gonna jump straight into it i do not own any rights to this video nor um do i own any rights to any of the other videos that i will sh be showing you today but i am here to inform i do not um wish to proceed any money or any uh type of back feed or feedback from this i'm just here to help but anyways i'm gonna jump straight into it so today this video was actually dropped yesterday and I want you guys to look at what this is. Now, remember in a, a couple of videos back, I was explaining to you how they are starting to create energy, energized, like, based weapons. So, it's 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 no longer being um, bullets anymore. It's energy-based weapons because they they know what is going on. They, they understand how the sun and its... Um, levels of radiation the new levels of radiation is empowering times 10 so they're doing every and anything in their power to not only try to outdo the sun but to create um, a construct of destruction of their own so I want to I wanted to show you guys this electricity being generated and they said it's a size anywhere, anywhere on, on earth, earth. Sin 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 and exclusive, exclusive. Scientists working for the Pentagon have completely. successfully tested a solar test panel the solar size panel of a. But they said this is the size of a pizza box and um, found in space, and it is generating uh, electricity. And this looks like to me, before I let it play, this looks like just looking at it, it looks like something that starts fires. Hint, California, like, is it not giving you like laser vibes? I don't know. But just looking at this, it looks like they're they are just trying to create destruction from their end. Pizza box Pizza in space, box in space designed, as designed as a prototype for a future, system, for future system to send electricity system, from space electricity back from to space any, back point, back on any Earth. point on Earth. The panel, known as a photovoltaic radio frequency antenna module, PRAM, was first launched in May 2020, May 2020 attached to the Pentagon's X-37B unmanned drone unmanned to harness light from the sun to convert to electricity. The drone is looping Earth every 90 minutes. The panel is designed to make the best use of the light in space, which doesn't pass through the atmosphere and so retains the energy of blue waves, making it more powerful than the sunlight that reaches Earth. Blue light diffuses off. Notice he said more powerful than the sun. Now you see how they're trying, it's almost, it almost seems like as if they are like competing with the sun. Like it's weird because they can, I feel as though that they know the new, this new age of Aquarius, it is the electromagnetic field surrounding Earth collapsing and all of the electromagnetic fields of the giant gas planets that are surrounding Earth are coming together and becoming one. So the level of radiation is like immense and they have, they know exactly what's going on. That's why they are creating these panels and these different um, machines to compete and keep everything under order in a sense. But um, kind of getting off track, this is a dream that I had a couple of days ago, literally a couple of nights ago. I believe it was like the day before yesterday. Yeah. And it was of uh, the sky opening up and it was just... Um, which I will get into in a second, but um, the sky was pretty much opening it up, and it was just colorful. It was so colorful, and I seen giant, giant planets just sitting directly over us. It's like, like he just mentioned, that's why the sky is appearing blue. If you are um, in a city where the sky is just blue and there is no clouds whatsoever, this is why because they have this energy-based um, 
sail to um, give off this color when the sky is a lie. The sky is, I really feel as though my dream was so real. It felt so real. And the sounds that came from this dream was so real, guys. Like the, um, the sky was, it, it looked almost like, um, you know, the old video games where they had like super bright neon colors and it was just like, um, shapes and stars like it kind of gave me star wars galaxy vibes and it was it felt so real and there were ufos there was lasers and it was zapping the ground and it was i can hear i can still hear the zap of the laser and it was just so real and i feel as though my um higher self was trying to warn me that this is true like things are changing and sooner or later the sky will be revealed to us very very soon and it was just so different like i see a beautiful baby blue sky every day but i'm starting to feel as though that is not the sky anymore that is or it never has been but i feel as though this is a lie and they're giving us this baby blue color to keep us calm but what's really the sky how does it really look like I in this dream I've seen the sky for myself and it was just completely different from what I see every day so to get back on topic yeah this um these different energy based weapons that they are trying to create or that they are creating is like I don't know I don't know what they trying to compete with or what they trying to um kill or destroy but yeah it was just it was the dream was like corresponding or in sync with what I am seeing today it's very weird but it was so like real it was so real but I think that was pretty much all entry that I into our atmosphere into our which is why the sky yeah. appears why blue sky appears we're getting blue. a ton yeah, of extra, sunlight, extra and sunlight and space just because of that said Paul J a co-developer of the project the la last experiments la show that the 12 by 12 inch 12 panel is capable, is capable of producing about 10 watts of energy for transmission Jave told CNN I didn't see a time period for that that's about enough energy to power up a tablet computer but yeah so these things are powerful and it's the size of a pizza box and it is giving off laser electricity from from it and it's from the um the solar system and it is um refracting light from the sun which is increasing the light of the sun to be only in the solar system so not saying that there's no sunlight coming here which clearly it is but it is pretty much um subtracting the light that we are receiving which explains a lot which is what i will get into but 20 or not 20 um world news report you definitely can go check this out he just posted this yesterday so it shouldn't be too hard to find but I did want to get into Adapt 2030, which is what I did want to um, point out. Now, this video is fairly old. This was last year, but I definitely wanted to show you guys this simply because it is once again in sync with my dream. Frank is added to that. Is added so to color is that. a little bit easier to so see here. This, this is the stable field. And then when a change in the and magnetic field is added, you start to see the change. Doesn't matter if it's in a plasma lab or if it's in our skies, we're seeing the same exact skies. thing, all based on electromagnetism. The sun is going into sun a decreased into activity, activity state, state affecting the magnetic field on our planet. Polar our wander, planet. our poles are moving to new areas. New areas. We're in uncharted territory in uncharted unless you're looking at cycles and we're repeating one right now. And when ancient verses speak of signs in the skies, I would have to say this would be one. And as we now start to look at petroglyphs in a different light, they make sense what you're seeing on the walls. Before these were discredited, and I don't know why the ancients left us so many markers, so much knowledge. 
so much. And they were knowledge. ridiculed as childlike they paintings. As no, they weren't. Paintings. They were showing no, you weren't. exactly what was happening in the heavens. Exactly what was happening in and the my thought is, if it's getting this well, intense already, this intense would, already it would it eventually in the next few years come into something like this, where we start to see like streamers, this, multiples of heading through the skies? This is what's on canyon walls. This is what's on canyon walls. Because if you saw that. You'd probably because leave you something that, like this on rock like as well as a warning for the next generation. Now, mind you, these carvings that are in these walls, as you guys may know, are thousands and thousands, like decades old. So these messages that they um, carved into the um, walls, they were taken for granted or taken for granted because they seemed as though they were just childlike um, carvings. Like they didn't necessarily mean anything. And it didn't resemble anything, but as you can see, they were predictions or furthermore warnings to us to um, what happened to them and what is now happening to us. So as you can see, um, I don't have my cursor on, but as you can see here on on his back, it seems as though it is a sun and then there's like energy coming oh, off. And it's, so they were. it so is in... Um, sink or it makes basically um depicts what was carved so these are not only warnings but um future predictions which were taken for granted as he mentioned you exactly, what was, exactly what was happening in the and heavens and my thought is if it's getting this intense already would it eventually in the next few years come into something like this where we start to see streamers like multiples of heading through the skies now this is what our sky is going to appear like in um any day i feel personally this is my personal analogy and according to my dreams, like these colors were so freaking neon and bright and I could just see like action. It was just like literally a video game. And these colors and these planets were huge and the um, colors were very bright. I seen the UFO and these lasers. It was just like a video game, literally. And he said this if it was if the prediction was true which it is as you can see these things are now taking place you can only imagine of what is yet to come so if i have any say so in this i am saying that yes this is definitely something that is yet to come the true sky is yet to be revealed and only a matter of time we will see these colors and the sky will give off give off these colors this electromagnetic field is crashing and it is becoming one so the immense amount of energy and um, pressure that is going to be surrounding earth is not like what it has been before so I don't know. It, it just makes sense and it all adds this up. This is what's on canyon walls. This is what's on canyon walls. Because if you saw that, you'd probably because leave something like that, this on rock as well as a warning for the next generations, the next societies. To say, hey, there was something very strange that happened. Say, hey, we witnessed it. You might not understand it right this second, but we're leaving you a marker. And the Jacob's Ladder, is this a connection? Plasma filaments from our skies. Now, Jacob Ladder... Jacob's Ladder is also a carving in the wall, but if you didn't know, Jacob's Ladder is your DNA. It is the 12 strands of DNA that we have, but we technically are only tapped in into two strands of our DNA, which is why they try to keep us away from the sun, simply because the sun activates our DNA. So we are changing genetically from the inside out. So if you were to be in the sun, you are activating, you are being activated from the inside out simply by unlocking your DNA. Now, as you can see, everything is in sync, surprisingly, yet un unconscious, what's the word? Uh, this is not a coincidence, basically. Like, this is not a coincidence at all. And I feel like everything is, is in sync and it is playing out at the perfect time. Like, it's not being rushed, yet everything is being revealed to us. Now, this is why, surprisingly, they are telling us wear a mask, cover up, stay six feet apart.
apart, stay inside, don't come out as much, be safe, quote unquote, this corona thing is a hoax, it's a total hoax, they are trying to hide us from the sun, they are telling us to pretty much preserve our skin from the sun, they know exactly what would happen if we were to be in the sun, if we were to take the mask off and be outside, they are trying to keep us sheltered, not only because they can't take the sun, but because the sun activates us as melanated beings. Now, a lot of people are saying it seems it seems like a spiritual war, or it seems like it's a battle for our own souls, but it has been this way. This has been the plan. The plan was simply to keep us disconnected from who we truly are. That's the that that was the goal overall. The goal is that let's hide their true identity from them by injecting them and um lying to them as well as manipulating them. And by them, I mean us as the melanated beings. They did everything in their power to keep us away from our God, our, our God consciousness. We are God. We are the original extraterrestrial beings. And they know this. They know that we are, um, our vernacular anatomy matches plants and trees. Like we are in tune with nature we when i say we are in tune we are nature so a tree by that i mean a tree pretty much interprets the same conscious mind as us it doesn't of course have the same um it doesn't share the same physical aspect of us but it shares the same conscious mind as, as we are in tune with nature we are nature our vernacular anatomy matches nature so these people try to keep us inside and keep us preserved and covered up simply because they know who we are sadly more than we know who we are now these are coming from people who are genetically spliced and they have an extra 223 genes inside of them. And by that, they are implemented with wolf gene, monkey gene, mosquito gene, flies, chimpanzees. They have all of these different animals within them, which is the reason as to why they are not natural or organic to this planet which is why they can't sustain not only this planet but the universe now ask yourself this or let's ask each other this question why is it that we can take the sign we being melanated beings why is it that we can take the sign um and they can't. Why is it that this soup that we have can sustain this planet and not only this planet, but the universe and um, the sun, but they can't. So if they, they're so you notice or you realize that they're so quick to say we are one, we are the same. If that is the case, why did God, the supreme creator, the supreme being, create me different from you? Like, that doesn't add up. If you are not one with nature, not necessarily one with nature, but you share no comparisons with nature, you are not anything of nature like we are your anatomy has no comparison with nature how are you anything like me if that is me so they're so quick to say that yet they can't absorb the sun and dispense radiation excuse me why is it that we can absorb the sun and dispense radiation but they can only absorb it so it doesn't add up to me and it doesn't um explain 
that we are the same. It doesn't it doesn't go hand in hand. So technically, no, we are not the same. But yet these are the people who are controlling us and keeping us inside and away from tapping into our true God self. So these are just some um before I let the rest of this video play out, these are just some things that I wanted to go over with you and let you know that all of this that is happening is on purpose. It is simply revealing the truth and we are tapping back into our God self. They have no control, yet they are still fighting to, of course, create these um, things. As you can see, these different weapons and these energized weapons, in which I have um, did a video on previously, but nothing is more powerful than the sun. And like I said once before, and I'll say it again, who wants to be in battle with, who wants to be in the ring with the sun? That is completely incompatible. I'll be the last one to say I want to fight. <laughs> I want to stand up to the sun. So they, yes, they're going to do everything in their power to keep us away from who we truly are. These are the people that are underground and who are in the dark. Everything that is in the dark that is hiding these dark deities, these moon people are going to be revealed. So, yes, I believe my dream. I feel like my dream came right in hand and the sky is going to be revealed. This transformation of this magnetic field around Earth is its the new shift. That That's the truth. That's what's really about to take place. And if you are not of this planet, it's a sad time for the weak-minded. It's a sad time for the unconscious. And it, it's just, it's, it's, it's got to play out the way that it does. So... Let me finish up this video, but other than that, guys, thank you so much. Oh, no, I lied. Hold on. I think this was it that I wanted to show you. Now, I'm going to show you one more video, and I'm going to let this video play out. But not this video, the video that I have to show you, but I'm going to let this next video play out, and that is going to be the conclusion of the, this video. But I'm going to see if there's anything to our bodies I'm... through the heavens. To our bodies, through the heavens. These changes that allow us to manifest. There's some change, change happening within not only our resonant within, field of the body, but the earth itself and the sun, the solar system. I firmly sun, believe this is part of the reason that I we are being kept away and taught to fight each other right now. We were separated six feet and now we are fighting each other. Because this is so dangerous for the powers that be that we as a species come together and start to manifest and think into the light and their darkness instantly stops instantly stops now did you hear what he just said it takes for a now this is not bias at all i am not trying to play the race card but it takes for a white caucasian man to admit that after this I'm gonna just play this it back. is so dangerous for the powers that be it. that we so as a species come together and start to manifest and think into the light and their darkness instantly stops. Their darkness instantly stops. Exactly what I just got finished saying. Cliche. Like after this pole shift, after this um, what is it? This giant shift takes place. This massive thing that is going that is happening right now as we speak the this dark being that hides in the darkness that manipulates and um pretty much just mentally abuses us as a whole since an infant state it will no longer have the ability to sustain its um physical body and its uh ability to survive here to uh exist on this planet everything darkness or dark or anything dark will be destroyed it will have it will no longer have the ability to live and sustain this lie that they are now trying to inject on us and kill us off before they have the ability to be destructed they have they wanted this is what their um plan was to do they wanted eternal life they wanted to live forever and they know we had the ability to do so 
but they had to strip us from our powers or um, make us forget about our powers to further keep us lower or underneath them. Now, what happens, what is the best thing to do if you were to, um, if you had Superman and Superwoman, what is the best thing to do to get them together as one? Strip their powers. If Superman is super, he don't need Superwoman. If Superwoman is super, she don't need Superman. So the best thing to do is to strip their superpowers so they have to rely on each other. Now imagine if they had their powers, they wouldn't need nobody over them. They wouldn't need nothing over them. They wouldn't need a higher power. This is why they don't want us to be in the sun. This is why they need us inside. They don't want us to tap into that divine consciousness because if we do, if we do, it's they have no idea well maybe they do but if we were all to come together and become one again and tap into our true god consciousness we would need nothing over us nobody would be over us and that's how it truly should be but being that they stole our legacy and tricked us and raped us and abused us for years and years and now mental um slavery is taking place they are over us so now we are looking up to them we we should never be looking up to anybody we should be looking within and going within but because we were completely stripped from our memory and our powers we are now looking outside of ourselves and worshiping others, which is continually taking away from our true self. But don't worry, everything is coming back to how it originally was and everybody is going to return back to their original state. Now for the weak-minded and the people who are in fear, destruction, and who is just in denial of all of this, it's a sad time, like I mentioned before. It's a sad time for you, and it's only a matter of time before things get real. So, yeah. They know this. We know this. And that's just that. But before this video gets too long, I'm going to um, play this video and end it out here. But I just need you guys to listen to this. This was my dream once again. Back in the 1950s, most people aren't aware of it, but there was a scientific storm in America all through the late 50s about this thing out there in space because the astronomers were all watching it, and that was back when they weren't afraid to talk about it. It was in the science magazines. I mean, I had a subscription to, like, Popular Science and Help. It was on the front cover of the magazine one day in, like, 1961. And uh, I was really excited when I saw it because here's a giant red planet on the horizon uh, of the California coast and a humongous tidal wave coming in towards the coast and having grew up in the mountains of uh, the Sierras and this thing in the magazine it said this tidal wave coming in was going to be at least three miles high and I went and showed it to everybody in the house and they laughed and they said look it says right here there's nothing to worry about it won't be here for another 50 years hey guess what that 50 years has came and gone and uh, this baby's out there in the sky they've been watching it I watched it and I can tell you this thing has got so much trash coming around it you know how we live in a solar system? We've got nine planets and a big sun. This thing's got seven planets and its own sun. But I believe that instead of having dirt on it like our planet does and water, I think this thing is just a big uh, bright reddish orange iron ball because it's giving off all this red iron oxide dust out into the atmosphere. When we saw it at first, it was just a teeny little red speck of, of fuzzy red dust in the distance, but over the years as it went by and we watched it, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then finally, about a late, we could see this thing like it was across the street, and we could see that it was a blazing hot ball of fire giving out sparkles of 
red iron oxide dust for thousands of miles in every direction. And you can see the plants circulating it. Now, I'll tell you one thing that I really am nervous about. I think this thing's got a planet like ours circling it. This is its own solar system. We're about to have a solar system come through the middle of our solar system. This can't be good. But unfortunately, it looks as though that's what's going to happen. Hopefully, nothing in this mess will hit us even though it does say it will in the Bible, these ways it does in my Bible, it says we can expect all kinds of problems. We would look at asteroids right close to this thing. There's asteroids that are floating around right near the, uh, that are orbiting the, uh, the main sun itself. These things appear to be about 500 miles across. And, and as you go back into the tail, you get into meteorites that go back for millions of miles in the tail. This thing looks like a giant red, teardrop shaped dust cloud and you can see once if you if you're able to see it up close like we did you can see every speck out there i guarantee you there's trillions of meteorites following this thing now these cia people that i know say that we're not going to uh, uh be that close to it when it goes past us they're saying that in order to attain breakaway speed, when it comes up around the backside of the sun, its speed will at least double, possibly more, which will put it here earlier than everybody is saying it will. And uh, the, this thing will probably be about 20, mi 20 million miles from us when, when it crosses in front of us. And then as soon as it flips us upside down, we're going to go into its debris field tail and be pelted with uh, meteorites. And of course, in the Bible, it says they will a talon 70 pounds. So if you've got 70 pound meteorites falling like hail, and I can guarantee you they will be falling like hail because there's that many in the tail of this thing. This thing has got a tail loaded with trash. I mean, uh, it's incredible the amount of stuff that's in this thing's tail. And uh, we're going to go right through that tail. And if it doesn't beat everything on the surface of the ground into a flat putty, I don't know what it will take. I tell everybody, you better be at least 20, 30, 40, 50 feet on the ground and have either concrete or stone above you because it'll break through the roof or whatever you've got if you don't. These CIA guys told me that this pole shift will probably happen from start to finish in around 28 minutes. That doesn't give you a lot of warning. When you see that thing out there in the sky, you're going to have to run as fast as you can to your underground facility because this is going to happen so fast. Now, see, here's another thing that we talk about. You've got this giant iron planet that they say is 47,000 miles across, getting ready to come up past us. And when it starts to approach us, it's going to start and have real serious effects. So is it a planet or a failed star? It's not a failed star. It, it, you know, I... In five seconds, you can see the sound. What you can't skip is climate change. If there is something you can do... I saw this thing up close. It did not look like a failed star. It looked just like our sun. Right. Okay. It, uh, would you call our sun a failed star? No. Okay. Well, you had said planet. I wasn't sure if it was like a, a failed star brown dwarf or a full sun. So it's a full sun? It's a, it, it looks to me like a miniature sun, just like the one we have. The only difference is, see, is our sun is uh, giving off flames and stuff. And this one's doing the same thing as it, but it's given off this red iron oxide cloud of dust around it. And until it got close, we couldn't even tell what was in there. We knew we could see it was hot. And it looked like it was just a dull red when we were first able to discern it through the red cloud. But as it approached, it started to become more apparent that this thing is just orange hot. I mean, to tell how hot it is, I was told that it was, they estimated between 5 and 10 million degrees, but, you know, I don't really know, uh, you know, uh, if that's right or not. I mean, it's got to be pretty hot because it's, it's sending all of this red iron oxide dust out into space around it, right. and uh, it's got this enormous, and I mean enormous, uh, at least 50 or 100,000 miles on each side of it, this red dust cloud that goes all the way around it. I know when we were watching it, as it started to make the upward swing to approach behind our sun, it was amazing. The red dust cloud settled down. Instead of being round, 
it started to settle down into a V like wings, upside down wings. Right. And I thought, boy, I wonder if that's where the ancient Sumerians got the idea this thing had wings. Because, you know, centrifugal force is a funny thing. When it comes back up around the planet, when we see it in the sky, my guess is it's going to look like it's got wings because centrifugal force is going to be pulling the uh, red iron oxide dust and particles uh, uh, out to one side. And then uh, as it starts to climb out and go away from us, listen, I was told that this thing's magnetic field is going to be so strong, anybody that does not have a padded lead helmet to wear will have their brain gutted for everything they ever knew, and they'll be a complete raving moron after this thing passes. They'll lose their, they won't know, they'll be in their pants. They won't have a clue what's going on, because this thing will gut their brain. And, it, and you know, I was reading until my Bible, it says that uh, after this happens that nobody will uh, care because they won't be able to remember it. Well, of course, uh, I was told by somebody the reason that that is is because the electromagnetic field from this thing will be so strong because, see, as it comes up underneath of us, it's going to start and pull us toward it. And then, just like a pair of big magnets, all of a sudden it's going to lock onto us. And when it does, it's going to be like the jolly green giant kicked it in the ass. It's going to send a jolt 500 to 1,000 foot high. This is what I'm told 500 to 1,000 foot high shock waves all the way around the planet. They'll be so bad in a lot of areas that don't have good solid soil, it'll fluff it so badly that you'll practically be like you're standing in quicksand. And that this thing's magnetic field will literally gut your brain of everything. And so you may want to uh, give some thoughts to getting you some sheet lead, build you a little uh, lead helmet to wear, you know, uh, like a little motorcycle helmet to protect your entire brain and, and the back of your neck. So that, that way this can't happen because you know, if these guys are right about this, and I'm pretty sure they are because uh, I know for a fact they know what they're talking about when they say stuff. And uh, so, you know, and, and it does sound reasonable to me knowing what I do about electromagnetic energy.